and uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon, uh, dear friends and colleagues. Uh, thank you very much for attending the ID model or project uh, conference. And the uh, ID model, many people ask me, what does it mean? It means inclusive digital model. So we are uh, aiming, uh, working at developing a, an innovative business model of, um, for inclusive development in the digital world, in the digital world. So I'm presenting on behalf of the project team today, uh, our uh, recent, uh, our research findings so far, our research findings so far. I will uh, share the screen um, first. So I will present on behalf of the, of the uh, project team today on the uh, digital business model innovation for inclusive development. And uh, I think there is increasing consensus in the world that we should build a more inclusive and sustainable world. And, uh, and also this mission is very, uh, 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 very urgent and uh, we have to achieve this goal according to the United Nations 2030 uh, SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we have only less than 10 years to achieve uh, our goal to build a more inclusive and sustainable uh, world and uh, leave no one behind, as Tobio uh, emphasized uh, at the end of his um, talk. And uh, also, there is increasing uh, recognition that there is an important role that science, technology, and innovation can play in achieving uh, these uh, sustainable development goals. And the, the rise of the digital technology in particular can play a very important uh, role in building the uh, inclusive society, building the inclusive society. And in recent years, um, you know, following the, the development of the fourth industrial revolution, the digital revolution from the uh, inter uh, computers, internet, and the mobile phones, and now we see another uh, uh, kind of new technological progress, which is emergence of short video platform. These short video platforms that they have allowed some content-based value creation in the grassroots. The short videos, which means they are very short, which does not have uh, impose a high requirement on the infra digital infrastructure. And this video communication also allow many people who are illiterate, who cannot read and write to communicate and also show their value and, and also learn from the, the, the rest of the world. So this short video platform, the emergence of this technology and has very important implications for inclusive development. development. And it leads to a new type of value creation, which is content-based value creation activities. And however, there is a significant gap in the, uh, in the field, in the literature, that the ICT for development literature have looked at mobile phone and internet, but have not paid enough attention to this platform technology, especially these short video platforms. And the business model uh, literature and also the entrepreneurship literature also have not really looked at enough at this inclusive development and the business model innovation for uh, entrepreneurship in the, at the base of the pyramid and uh, poverty reduction and the equality reduction. So this is a gap in the literature. And therefore, we come up with the idea is that we would like to carry out a research uh, to investigate how to develop a business model to transform the benefits of technology into income, jobs, and capabilities in the marginalized society. So this is the key research question uh, of this research. Of this research. And uh, and this. Research, luckily, we have uh, received the funding support from the ESRC, the UK's Economic and Social Research Council, its Global uh, Challenge Research Program. And uh, so it is funded by the ESRC GCRF program, 
for three years. And uh, the project team was led by the University of Oxford and the University of Birmingham and with support in both uh, Bangladesh and China and China. So the research actually is a mixed method uh, based research. We carry out a case study, in-depth case study of a successful case that we identified in China and generalize uh, a model that can be replicable uh, with uh, a more wider relevance. And also we experiment this in Bangladesh to further understand its impact and the uh, enabling factors for its success in the low income country context. So this is about this research. As I mentioned earlier, um, there are a wealth of literature on entrepreneurship at the base of the pyramid. And the literature identified the barriers for entrepreneurship activities at the base of the pyramid. Um, the grassroots population faces significant barriers to enter the economic uh, activities, um, including the financial constraints, the skills constraints, and in addition to this, and also the information poverty. They are constrained to the, the access to uh, information, market information, the technology information, knowledge information, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, various uh, information. So this, is in, this information poverty also is uh, one of the uh, major barriers to economic activities at the base of the pyramid. And the recent development uh, on the, of the digital technology and the literature on the ICT for development also identified the, the role that the digital technology ICT can play in bridging the digital divide, in bridging the divide and create an inclusive society. So there are research on uh, internet, on, on mobile phone technology, etc. However, the limits that this digital technology can reach the marginalized society, there is still a boundary. There is still a boundary that people have to be able to read uh, and also oh, uh, 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 um, to write. And also uh, the content has some limitations, has some limitations. So there are still people being left out, like being left out. And uh, so, and also the literature has suggested that um, the research has suggested that the business model innovation can help the ICT, the digital technologies, to really to create an uh, inclusive society and also uh, um, bring innovations in value creation activity. So technologies has, need some application and this application needs some business model all to combine together to offer a kind of workable solution for the marginalized society. So based on the literature, we come, uh, we developed a conceptual framework that um, business model innovation on the digital platforms would to help to create an inclusive society. So our argument is that the online platforms can help to reduce information asymmetry and the transaction cost which are significant barriers for the uh, 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 um, entrepreneurs at the grass, grassroots and entrepreneurs. And also there are some social mechanisms like the role models can also help uh, um, the poor people to inspire them, to, to empower them and inspire them. And the, all these can lead to inclusiveness in income creation, capabilities building, and also increased aspiration for the uh, uh, for the poor people. And also through the entrepreneurship activities at the base of the pyramid. And this um, can help uh, to generate uh, income uh, activity and the poverty reduction in a sustainable way, in a sustainable way. So give the rise to the entrepreneurship at the base of the pyramid. So this is the uh, uh, conceptual framework that we developed for the research. So the research, as I said, include two parts. Uh, one part is the field work uh, carried out in China to carry out in-depth 
a case study of a successful case, which we are we have done in collaboration with our partners in China, Professor Xing, Xing Xiangqiang at UIBE. Uh, so first, let's see what we find from the case study. So we use an exploratory case study method, and we choose a, a, a unique, at what we start in 2017, this is the only case, only su successful uh, video platforms that are popular in the uh, marginalized society, in the marginalized society. This is a platform called Kwai. Uh, at this moment, I want to also make uh, a statement that, um, I, I, I knew yesterday that Kwai, the company under study, uh, was list was um, has started IPO at Hong Kong Stock Exchange, uh, and uh, and aiming um, at uh, uh, trading at Hong Kong Stock Exchange uh, next week. And um, however, um, our conference and uh, and their IPO are totally independent. We don't know each other's activity until the final minute. So. Um, I want to also, so our presentation today has nothing to do with that. It's an independent process, but we can see it is a successful case. And uh, Wall Street Journal uh, uh, mentioned uh, that it will be the largest uh, IPO uh, in Hong, Hong Kong Stock Exchange, in Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So this is a, a, a platform um, very popular in the third and fourth tier city in China and in the rural regions of China. So many, most of its users are come from the marginal society, the third and fourth tier cities, China and the rural China and the rural China. And the, in 2020, it has more than 300 million daily active users, daily active users achieved more than 300 million. And it is the top two short video e-commerce platform um, 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 in the world in 2019. So uh, we, because of its unique, because of its um, kind of widespread and adoption in the marginalized society, and also because it has been a, a mature business model and we choose to uh, uh, analyze it. And it is not an opportunity driven. Uh, actually, when we decide to uh, I, um, study this company, uh, because we heard its success and its uh, uh, popularity in the marginalized society, we have no access. So it's not opportunity driven a study. Um, on the contrary, it's because we know the success and really want to get access to the, to the company. And uh, so I sent, uh, um, emails and a request to many friends in China try to get access to the company. And the silence in most of the cases until one day, one colleague that I met in one conference, uh, just met once in a conference and uh, uh, he replied to me and uh, he knows someone in, uh, in Kwai and he put me in touch. So this is really a kind of phenomenon theory driven choice of the, the, the case. And we did interviews, multiple interviews and expert interviews, collected secondary data and uh, uh, secondary data. So this company, as I said, is short video uh, um, 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 uh, based platform, uh, um, um, uh, short video uh, um, platform. And uh, most of its uh, uh, users come from the uh, uh, rural society. And in 2020, uh, 200, more than 200 million in users come from the rural region of China. So more than 200 uh, million residents in rural China use it. Uh, and uh, uh, they uploaded 650 million short videos every day. And every day there are 55 million viewers every day from the rural China. So it's really a, a video for the uh, a platform kind of, you know, liked by the poor, liked by the poor. What do they do there? They share their village life. They share their agriculture activities like, you know, fishing and the flooring and the farming and the, and the planting and the, how to use the agriculture equipment and also some uh, about agriculture policy and uh, other knowledge. So that's what they do. And they also show people how 
they do handicrafts and they started from there to sell handicrafts or teach people how to do handicrafts and they earn income from all these activities um, by receiving the gifts, the donations, the subscriptions and also um, uh, advertisement income. But gifts is the major income. So the business model is like this. We have the platform in the middle and we have users, two types of users as a two sites. One side are the uh, um, um, uh, content creators. They create the, the videos, they upload, they share in their knowledge, their life, and they sell their products. And on the other hand are the consumers of content. They watch the video, watch the live broadcast, they learn from it and they purchase it. They purchase it. And they send likes, they follow, they give gifts, uh, they subscribe, and also they, they um, and also for the content creators, they communicate themselves, they sell their products, and also there is a self-expression, self-expression. Please watch time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, so the the uh, the value creation activities, if we focus on the, the content uh, creators and the consumers, is that they share their, their um, they create their uh, the short videos, they share their knowledge, and also uh, build up the social networking, and they uh, um, create and uh, uh, identify and create uh, opportunities for their business, they earn income, and they also kind of, you, you see, uh, empowerment. They are training on the platform. And for the consumers, uh, they get access to buy their, the things they need, uh, they build social networks, and they learn knowledge. They learn no knowledge. So we see the, 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 uh, um, uh, the benefits for both the platform in terms of growth and also for the users at the two sides, the economic benefits, capabilities building and the social values and social values. And uh, all these are, are enabled. So why quite different from the others? Because they have five mechanisms. Five, the first is the technological de-skilling. So very simple interface. Um, you know, multiple communication tools and you can talk, you don't need to read. So people can post videos, even they cannot write. And also there is a fair recommending mechanism. That's also a key that it differs from TikTok, et cetera. So they don't prioritize anybody. It's a fair recommendation mechanism. They provide bespoke support, supporting system and the training programs to help the, the, the the content producers to make it better. They also has an enhancing interaction enhancing mechanism to enhance the social interaction because main income value creation come from gifts like number one, number five, monitor monetization and realization mechanism. You can get the income from gifts, subscription, advertisement, and the direct selling. And uh, and all these, many of these come from the social interaction, social interaction. So they have an interaction system. And all these five are kind of coherent and reinforced with each other and aligned with each other. And so this gives the rise to the entrepreneurship at the base of the pyramid and also helps the marketization of the resources at the, 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 the uh, base of the pyramid. Some idle resources now being kind of linked and being able to borrow or trade it, etc. So marketization of the idle resources at the base of the pyramid too. And in the research, we also find out there are enabling factors uh, are very important for this. This enabling factors first is to make it accessible. So investment in the digital infrastructure is very important. That's done by government and affordable because the price uh, uh, reduction in broadband and the mobile phone, significant reduction in China, make it affordable. Thirdly is institutional support regulations to safeguard the rights of the uh, users. Uh, and the fourthly is technological pro progress, like the short videos to enable the illiterate people being able to, to, to uh, communicate them much better. Uh, and, uh, and of course, there is a threshold level of digital skills needed, basic uh, digital skills needed. These are important enabling factors. So all these lead us to build a conceptual framework 
with the enabling factors at the bottom with the five mechanisms to ensure the inclusiveness and the, which will which uh, the outcome is to give the rise of the, the entrepreneurship at the base of the pyramid and the marketization of the resources at the base of the pyramid and also we see benefits uh, uh, from economic growth and also opportunity creation for the base of the pyramid and also wealth creation for the people at, at the base of the pyramid. So this is the uh, findings from the case study in China. And also now we are carrying out the second phase is a uh, randomized controlled trials in Bangladesh. This is done in, in uh, partnership with uh, SBK Foundation, our partner in Bangladesh. And what we have done is we, in 2019, we did a baseline survey and we developed a, a, a mobile phone app uh, we call uh, Hearty, uh, Hearty Heart. So means hand in hand, hand in hand. Uh, and this is a, also a very easy uh, a, a mobile phone based app with a very simple interface. And we developed a, a, a kind of modified and localized business model in, um, to run together with the mobile app. And, the, and because of the pandemic, we did a second uh, rollout of the uh, uh, mobile app twice. So once in April last year and the second uh, one in August, September last year. So what we need to do is this year we do the final survey and the evaluation and the analysis. So because of the time, quickly, I just share a little, little, uh, little findings. Just one minute, please. Okay. So we, we see the uh, uh, barriers in Bangladesh. Uh, uh, most people don't use mobile app and the, the uh, major uh, uh, constraint is lack of skill, digital skills. Major, uh, um, and uh, only 1% of the people surveyed say they use this app to find potential buyers. And even the second, even the second survey also find uh, very few people uh, use the app to do business, to do business. And so our conclusions uh, and the contributions, uh, I think um, we contribute a, a conceptual model and uh, to uncover, uncover the inclusive result of such innovative short video uh, uh, business model. And also we find the um, uh, uh, enabling factors are very important. And this policy implications, I quickly, I want to go through it because it's so important. Digital, the inclusive digital model can act as a tool to promote inclusive society. And the, the, no, the life of ordinary people is precious too, and can create income. And this is also a very important message is ordinary people's life also precious and they can uh, help them to, to um, uh, create income and uh, empower them, empower them. And uh, so for policy makers, support content-based new uh, digital entrepreneurs at the base of the pyramid will be an um, uh, effective route for poverty reduction. Of course, we need to pay attention to the enabling factors about digital infrastructure, uh, uh, training of digital skills and, uh, and the institutional and the regulatory support. So, um, there are limitations and the future research due to the uh, time constraint, I will, um, I can answer questions uh, later. So yeah. I will stop here. 